What's up guys? Uh, today I wanted to show you how I uh, lip sync my characters inside Daz 3D which has been asked a lot of times over the past few weeks, months and years I guess um, and before I drop the things that I'm working on right now which will be sure to have even more people drop in and ask how I'm doing this um, I just figured why not show you guys so this is more of a showcase not a tutorial because depending on the plugins and third-party apps you use your process could be different but this is the general gist of how something like this is done now the entry level for people that want to get into facial mocap in their studio is very high it's combined with a lot of free entry costs that you have to pay up front before you can even do it so first of all, you need an iOS device with a TrueDepth camera, meaning that's the iPhone X or the, yeah, the iPhone X or everything that's come out later than that, except for maybe some SE models or something, but the regular flagship ones should all have a TrueDepth camera. And you need a plugin pack, a big one, called FaceMojo, that's facial mocap for Dash Studio. Uh, that's 280 that's for genesis 3 and 8 both male and female so you can just single them out and just download the ones that you'd like so males every respective bundle is like 99 dollars and you need the face cap ios app at least for the things that i'm doing or there's a face mojo ios app which i have not used so i can't speak on that but you can just might as well just use this this one um this also comes with a user manual available on youtube uh as everything in there it all comes with documentation how to install it and use it so this is something that you'd be getting and i'm using an older version of the of the app i'll show you right now so inside des you have your Genesis 8 male character in my case and after you've installed your content which is also described everything in the manual or whatever you can go to your content library and just find the place where you installed it and as you can see it says right here it's version 4.1 and this was modified May 4th 2020 this is the version that I'm using but if you were to download it now you get this one is version 4.9 modified April 16, um, 21. So if you were to purchase this and want to follow along exactly as I do, you can just shoot the guy an email and ask for the older version. I'm pretty sure he'll give it to you. And other than that, he's super responsive. He's super reliable in terms of if you have any questions or anything similar. Just contact the guy via email, this is his website, and he'll be sure to get back to you in like no time. I've only had good experiences whenever I had a problem. So I'll be using the older version, keep this in mind, so your process might differ a bit, but if you follow along with the documentation, it'll be probably around the same. So if you've exported and recorded your files, um, as you can see on the right side of the screen right now, this is what it looks like inside FaceCap. So you get the option after you've recorded something to export it and then you can open your iTunes and you can export it straight out of iTunes on the file sharing tab. And this is what you get. So you get an FBX file and you get a WAV file. The WAV file is the thing that, well, captures your audio from the recording. It's super quiet most of the time. So I barely even use it for anything. And you get the FBX file. And what you want to do is you want to drop the FBX file into Daz Studio. So you get something like this. You get a GRP underscore scale object that is like right here. Like nothing. It seems like you just get a bunch of keyframes. But if you were to up the scale of this to like 2000, yes, to like one more zero. This is what you get. So this is actually what you're importing. So it's a recording of your head inside FaceCap. Yeah, and this is just 
what Dash Studio gets as an FBX file. I'll just control Z because we don't need to change anything about this. And we now want to bake our animation onto our model. As I've said before, I'm using the older version. So you can gladly just email the guy after your purchase and ask for the older version if you want to follow along exactly as I do. And you want to click on the respective character. So it's face mojo, it's people, Genesis 8 male, face mojo. Then you want to click on the bake animation for Genesis 8 male. The bottom right pane and the bottom right corner of Death Studio is now a progress bar that shows your progress. Sometimes it gets a bit icky and it doesn't update, but it's still baking the animation. So if there's not a bar appearing or the number count isn't updated, just wait a bit. 99% of the time it'll work out anyways, at least from my experience. Now, one thing to keep in mind is do not dress your character, like not at all. Just don't do it. Don't put hair on it, don't do anything else, just have a blank character, bake the animation, and then you can worry about the clothes and everything after. So, you can now delete the GRP scale object, and if we hit play, this is what we get. So as you can see, it applied the animation that we recorded from Facecap to our Genesis 8 male character, and is now just chugging along, singing happily, singing a song that is not out yet, that I can't tell you anything about I wish I could, but hopefully it'll drop this March. Um, it's a very huge stepping stone for me and a very nice opportunity I was happy to do. Um, yeah, but this is what you get. Now, the animation itself is a bit extreme, so it all seems a bit sharp, it seems a bit strong. Every value, including the movement of the head, is just a bit too extreme. Now, luckily, we get the option to change all of that, at least with our version 4.1 of the program, because if you click on your Genesis 8 model and then on the Parameters tab, if you scroll down a bit, you can see there's now a Face Mojo tab. So we want to click on this and we want to go into Head Rotation first. Make sure that we are at the beginning of our timeline because we want all of this to be applied across the whole animation not just where we are in the animation because otherwise it'll create a keyframe so for the abdomen upper rotation if i increase this to 100 you can see this is what's happening so this is just for the torso area a bit more extra movement to make it all a bit more believable but i want to crank this to like one and i want to crank the other ones to like 10 i guess and it's probably the thing that works best a lot of the time. So if I skip right in there, there's a slight bit of head movement, nothing too crazy. You can just change these values to whatever you want. But the most important stuff right here is the strength modifier. So what I want to tackle for this particular animation is the extremity of the mouth because it's always opened very wide and I just want to dial it back so it seems a bit more believable. You won't get photorealistic results with this at all because it's still a mocap taken from your phone, run through a third party plugin um, for Death Studio, after all. So, this is no Hollywood mocap facial tracking, but it's pretty damn nice. Um, so, under our strength modifiers, you want to scroll all the way down and start from there. So. What I want to change is the upper lip. So under mouth upper left and mouth upper up right strength, I want to change the values to like 10. Because when we humans speak, the upper lip is barely doing any work and barely moving as much. So as you can see, there's always uh, there's already some changes it looks a bit better the upper lip isn't going as crazy but the mouth is still opening very wide so there's a few parameters we can change to tackle that which in our case would be the mouth stretch left and right strength so we want to put this at like 10 for now and then i don't want him to be smiling so much when he's opening his mouth wide as much so i want to put the Mouth smile left and right strength to like 10 as well. You can always play around with these values. Um, 
And then we have the mouse mouth left and mouth right strength. I want to decrease this as well. Where this is on the left one, put it at like 50 maybe. Right strength is right here. So now I've pretty much changed the values that I usually change most. So we get a way more believable animation with it not looking as extreme and not as cartoony almost. Yeah, the mouth isn't opening as wide. And that's basically it for the animation part. Now, you could go into posing if you want some initial poses that always are there to change the way of his expression a bit. Um, so you can just, for example, under posing, go to your eyes and then make sure that the upper eyelids, for example, go down a bit so he looks a bit more, a bit more cool and a bit more edgy. And we could maybe even get the brows up or down and get the right brow or left brow up, getting that kind of the rock eyebrow raise. And if we hit play, you can see those animations are sticking. And the facial mocap is driven aside from the, your posing values that you've just adjusted, giving you a result that you can play around with. Like you can now do some more face animations in terms of posing. So you can change the mood and the expression of a character. Um, without hindering your face mojo uh, animation. And that's basically it. So one thing to keep in mind is when you save this, close this and open it again, a lot of the time the animation is gone. The head movement may still be there, but the mouth animation is gone. So you have to reapply it. That's a problem with Daz in, in itself, sometimes not keeping keyframes. But to combat that, you could, for example, bake this to studio keyframes. You also need Animate 2 for this. I don't think Animate Light supplies that feature, but I'm not sure. Um, so bake it to studio keyframes or create an any block from your studio keyframes and export those as post presets, which should then give you the ability to re import the animations that you've applied before. And that's basically it. You can now export your character out of DAS. And quick tip, if you want to know how to do that, I got a great video on my Patreon giving you the perfect animation workflow between DAS Studio and any other third-party software. Um, without losing like quality, you can export DeForce clothing simulations and all that good stuff and keeping everything high quality without you having to rely on a weird FBX DAS export out of um, the program, which may even mess up your hair placement or your clothing and stuff. So be sure to check that out. I appreciate each and every one of you guys supporting me day in and day out. Thank you so much, even though I've not been as active as I want to be, but there's a lot of commission projects um, on my plate right now. Um, and I guess the guy is also trying to find some time to play Elden Ring, it seems. But yeah, so keep an eye out for that. More cool stuff coming onto the Patreon this month for every subscriber. And one more quick tip. There's something called... Um, let me see right here where his DAS products are. Okay, the side is... There we are. So we want to keep missing it. So there's something called mocap mojo. So yeah, there we are mocap mojo. This is a program that allows you to apply mix amount animations to your desk character, which is easily combinable with everything else that I've just showed you. So you can have a regular face animation from face mojo and then apply a mix amount animation. Um, Pretty easily, similar workflow. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested. Also available for Genesis 3 and 8, male and female, in separate bundles, I believe. And yeah, you can combine, mix and match stuff this way. And that's how I usually create all my lip sync to stuff. So keep an eye out for the cool projects that I'm working on. As I've said before, thank you so much for the support, whether you were a YouTube subscriber 
follow me on Instagram or even support me on Patreon. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. And yeah, have a good day. And thanks for having me.